So I saw this image yesterday and I thought it was a pretty cool shirt design. I figured why not recreate it, but with my own twist added to it. So today's video, I'm gonna show you the full walkthrough of my design process from start to finish. Let's go. Yo, what is good? It's your boy Dixon from Intuitive Designs. While you're busy liking and subscribing to the channel, I'm gonna start off by finding assets for the design. Now, my usual go tools for free stock photos are Pexels and Unsplash. Remember, guys, never use Google or Pinterest to source for assets. Everything there is copyrighted. Also, goes without saying that you shouldn't steal, you gotta do better than that. Anyway, I forgot to record the earlier part of my search, but I literally just type floppy disk in the search bar, hit enter, and then these two come up. It's always a good thing to get more than one main assets for your website. I mean, for your design, sorry. Um, just in case it for some reason doesn't work out when you put it in Photoshop. Another thing I want to find is the Renaissance painting for the sticker part in the middle of the floppy disk. Um, just thought that it would be a cool idea combining, you know, old element with a modern one. Uh, but then again, nobody really uses floppy disk anymore. So it really isn't that modern, but you get the point that I'm making, right? Now I can't really find a good painting that I have in mind here. I'm trying to find something with primary colors and a dark background. So alternatively, we will go to Wikimedia Commons. Uh, this is also a good place to find stock photos, you know. However, you have to read the terms and conditions just to be sure. Uh, I'm just gonna look up Rembrandt because I like his dark dramatic art style. Um, Let's see. Um, you know what? Let's Google tragic Renaissance painting. I got to widen my search. Let's see. Um, I kind of like this one here, so let's open it up. There, now this one looks pretty good by Caravaggio. Let's look up his work on Wikipedia. Um, it's very good, but most of his work looks too biblical. A lot of Christian elements. Um, nothing against that personally, but it's just that it's just something that I don't want to have for this design. Um, so let's go back now. Um, this one looks pretty good too, but then again, um, it's too obvious, you know, having the Jesus laying in the foreground. Let's look up some other painters. Now this one looks more like what I want by Nicholas Poussin, Poussin. Sorry for butchering the name, but yeah, this one looks very, very good. I think we're gonna go with this one, honestly, but you know, let's find a couple more just to be safe. Let's see, um, this one looks really good too. But you know what? Let's just go with this one. And then we'll save them as files. Now we're ready to launch Photoshop and start designing. 
right guys so now i am on photoshop and as usual the print size that i'm going with is a 2 at 300 dpi i'm gonna stop talking for the entire duration of the creation process but i will not speed up the video like i usually do so that you can see what is really going on so if you have any questions about the effects or techniques that i will use later just comment below i always respond to all comments so yeah enjoy the video
so now is the part where i put the design on a t-shirt mock-up i usually just use my own which is this one right here you can also download it from my store link in the description below so yeah what i do is just select the design layer command c to copy and then go to the mock-up file double click on this smart object layer command v to paste and then uh, just turn off the guide layer in the back and then command s to save and it will automatically apply the design to the shirt with all the effects that make it look realistic of course this one is a bit too big so i'm just going to go back to the layer again size it down and then that is it hope you enjoyed today's video guys i will be dropping a new tutorial next week so stay tuned for that like and subscribe to stay in the loop see you in the next one